Hello, real estate friends. It's Dave Stoko here to share another tale of the hard way in real estate. I want to talk about working inside of HOAs and getting HOA approval before you do anything with any kind of property. The hard way uh, lesson I'm learning right now. So I've always been investing in residential real estate. <clears throat> about two years ago, picked up a couple of office warehouse suites in a commercial building. There's 12 total units and I own two of the units. Man, it'd been tough. I got them. They were vacant for a long time as I worked through some details that I won't go into, but I ended up spending about 15, 16 grand just to rehab these. I know not a lot of money, but anyway, got them, was ready to rent them, thought about running a business out of them for a little while, and then said, screw it. I'm going to just get them leased. I've been sucking up losses for too long, but I bought them right. So that was the good thing. And long story short, uh, this tenant comes to me to rent this these office warehouse units and wants to run a convenience store out of them. Well, it's more of like set up for accountants, attorneys, office people, people that want to have a little warehouse in the back, office in the front. Not really set up that way, but uh, I thought, you know what, that's great. We just need to get it approved through the Buildings Homeowner Association, which is inclusive of 12 total owners or shares that need to vote on anything uh, that would be associated with this convenience store. So specifically, changing signage out front and putting his store name, the city corner, out on f in front of the building. And then second, he wanted to change the facade of the building and go to glass doors, double entry, more like a store versus a single entry. So my mistake, and here's the lesson, I leave it to the tenant to go ahead and get these changes approved with the HOA saying, here's the contact info for the property manager. This is the guy that you need to get in touch with and he can set you up. You just need to get it passed through the HOA. And this guy's telling me, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, I don't care. He was gun ho he was motivated. He's saying, man, if I need to run a store without a sign, without, you know, doors uh, set up the way I want them, I'm fine. He's like, just get me a lease, get me a lease, get me a lease pushing money at me saying, man, I want to bring the check today. He was trying to lock this thing up. <clears throat> that should have been sign and known that, that uh, it was problematic. I give him keys to the property, take a $4,000 deposit, allow him to go in, rip out all of the improvements that I've done. So 15 plus thousand dollars in the improvements that I've done. He tears it all out, tears down the front of the building, the facade, and come to find out, I get a call from my HOA property manager saying the guy never got approval or talked to anyone over there about getting it done. And now he's saying, I never told him that it needed to be approved. So he says he's, you know, 30, 40 grand in tenant improvements into my building. He's not wanting to pay me rent because he can't open his store. And now I've got an HOA that's saying they're not going to approve this thing. I never got it approved and they want to shut the whole thing down. No one, now I got owners that are basically pissed about this thing. So I want to be mad at the tenant. <clears throat> when at the end of the day, the hard truth, I'm a freaking idiot for putting it in the tenant's hands and expecting a tenant to jump through those hoops to know what to do and just expecting that he's going to do it. Some lessons you got to learn the hard way. So the lesson for me, learn the hard way. And the lesson for you, before you do anything or rent to any tenant in a commercial property or even a residential property inside of an HOA that has certain ideas or things they want to do, absolutely make sure that it's going to work. And if you're doing things that require approval from the board of ownership or the HOA, you got to get that stuff passed before you ever sign a contract to lease with a tenant who has certain ideas. Dave Stoko, learning the hard way.